Today I'm going to show you a way of growing herbs and plants that you get from the supermarket or anywhere just in water. So no soil, no nothing, just cutting straight from the plant. A few plants for this, I've got some coriander I got from the supermarket, I've got some parsley as well. And there's a basil here that I've already done this a few times with actually. I've taken cuttings multiple times, I had it growing in the NFT system and then I took a cutting off that and I've had it growing here in this jar and that's been doing really well. It's full of algae at the moment and that's something I'll get to a little bit later. Then we've got some other herbs from the garden centre, a couple of different types of mint and a coriander as well. I've got my tools, I've got my water, a little jar of just plain tap water uh, and some little scissors. And the basic idea, is not a huge amount to it, is that you take a cutting a little way down from where it branches out and then you just put that in the water and over time little roots will come out because it thinks it's being planted and then once you've got enough roots you can repot it into some fresh water and perhaps add some nutrients if need be and the plant will grow even bigger. Cuttings are all done, they're in the water, and now we're going to put them somewhere bright for about a week or so and see if we can get any roots on the go. Now you put them somewhere like a windowsill or somewhere like that, somewhere nice and bright. I'm going to put them under the grow light and check back with them in a bit. Plants have been in the water for two weeks now and they're looking pretty good. They've got some nice big roots on the go, they're growing a bit more. The parsley and the coriander, not so much. I think they probably need some rooting hormone to get going. The spring onion seems to be doing something, so I'll probably just let that do its thing. For these ones though, it's time to untangle them and move them to some bigger containers. I've got my bottles and I've painted them. It's not just to make them look good, but it's actually to keep light away from the roots, which serves two purposes. If light can get to the roots or get to the nutrient solution that's in there, it's going to start growing algae, and the algae is going to use up all the nutrients that the plants actually need. And the other reason is to stop the roots themselves from developing chloroplasts. If they're exposed to light for too long, or in some plants, they'll start developing chloroplasts and start photosynthesizing in the same way as their leaves do. Now, if they do that, they're not going to do their main job quite so well, which is to take up all the nutrients, so we don't want that. So the next step, get the plants in the bottles, fill them up and see how they get on. This last one's a little bit of an experiment. I've got this jar and I filled it with clay pebbles in order to sort of form a bit of a substrate for the roots. I noticed that this type of coriander is growing quite long spindly roots so it probably will benefit from having something to sort of cling on to and move around a bit. It is exposed to the light so it'll be a good experiment between these ones and this one as to whether we get quite a lot of algae growth but we'll see. For now I'll probably just get them under the light again or find a good sunny spot. It's starting to wilt. It's quite hot outside today. We'll check back on them and see if they've grown. It's been two weeks since I got the plants in the bottles and four weeks since I did the cuttings originally. It's been quite a bit of progress. The roots have grown nice and big and the plants themselves have grown huge. They've actually outgrown the light itself. When they're under the light, they're sort of growing past it a bit. So from now on, they're probably gonna to have to be outside. Now, the most interesting one, I think, is probably this one to look at, Vietnamese coriander. Because this is the original plant that we got the cutting from. I think it was here, actually. It was about that size when we chucked it in here. And over time, it's actually almost exactly the same size over the course of the four weeks as this one's been growing in the soil. I've only topped these up a couple of times in the last two weeks, given them a little feed as well. But seeing as they've outgrown the grow tent and it's quite sunny at the moment, I'm gonna leave them outside and pick the herbs as I need them. 